Hi everyone, Mike here from Bikes by Mike for another cycling related video. So my last video was not all that popular among my non-wheel building friends. Um, actually, it wasn't that popular among any of my friends. So this time I'm going to do a video that has been requested on how to clean a bike. So unlike cycling, which I'm by no means an expert, when it comes to cleaning, I consider myself an expert. So it's about time I do a video on how to clean a bike and it's gonna happen right now. So it's not like I haven't wanted to do a video on how to wash a bike. It's just that there's literally thousands of videos out there already that really just talk about the same old stuff. Hose down your bike, soap it and scrub it, rinse it off, dry it, and then polish it or provide some protective film. So today I'm going to take it a bit further and I'm going to cover stuff that I'm sure you haven't heard of before. So the first thing that makes it different is that it's winter time, hence why I'm all dressed up like this. And it's pretty cold and winter bike cleaning is a little bit different than cleaning your bike during more mild weather, but the principles are very similar. So there'll be a few tips and tricks in terms of how to do it most effectively and efficiently in the winter, but you can also apply it for the other seasons as well. Now, if you watch this entire video, that's the hard part, I guarantee there are at least three tips, tricks, techniques, products that you're either not familiar with or you're not using now that you'll say, hey, I gotta do that. It's gonna make it a lot easier, so I'm gonna do it on my next bike wash. So let's get started. Starting first with what you'll need for a proper bike wash. Here we go. An assortment of cleaning brushes of various sizes. Insulated rubber gloves, which are readily available. I found mine on Amazon and they had a good selection of different varieties priced anywhere from 10 to $20. A six mil Allen key. Some through axles will require five mil Allen key. A dummy hub, which makes it easier to clean your chain and also protects your bike frame from the chain slapping against it while cleaning. Degreaser if you use a wet chain lube that attracts a lot of dirt. You can buy bike specific degreaser, but the degreaser sold at local hardware stores is better value for the money. A bike specific or car specific soap. Do not use regular dish soap as it's likely to remove the polish from your frame. A set of rags and your chosen polish for finishing off your bike wash. There are basically three types of paint protective polishes, waxes, sealants, and coatings. Those labeled as waxes aren't actually 100% wax. They usually contain up to 70% wax and the remainder being solvents and other additives. This is old technology. It's cheap, easy to apply. However, it does not provide good protection. It's okay for UV protection, but doesn't hold up to chemicals. It also doesn't last very long. Sealants are very similar to wax, but they're in a synthetic form as opposed to organic. They generally hold up better than waxes and they can last much longer, up to six months. Coatings are the latest and greatest in the automotive world as well as the bicycle world. They cure once they're applied to the surface, so they create a chemical bond to the paint. There are two types of coatings. The first are ceramic coatings or glass coatings. They get their name from the fact that most of them use silicon dioxide, which is a ceramic quartz found in glass, in the product. They have a high solid content, so instead of a light film, they create more of a shell type finish. They're more of a protective barrier between the paint and the elements, and they can last a very long time, months or even years for the better varieties. There are a lot of great coatings on the market. I happen to be using Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax and it's producing amazing results. It's essentially a spray wax combined with a ceramic coating. So it has the ease of application of a wax, but the durability of a ceramic coating. Performance wise, it's incredible. It sheds water like wax alone can't do. It protects the frame like wax can't and it easily lasts weeks, if not months, before having to reapply. The second are graphene coatings, or graphene oxide coatings. These are the latest and greatest, and supposedly 100 times stronger than steel. They can be derived from graphite, 
But while graphite is a three-dimensional crystalline material of pure carbon, graphene is a one-atom thick, two-dimensional lattice. What's really exciting is its potential application to bike manufacturing in the future. Victoria is already applying graphene to its carbon fiber rims, and it's inevitable that graphene will one day replace carbon fiber frames. Graphene oxide is manufactured by layering these graphene grids onto each other to create different thicknesses. You sometimes see it applied to the rubber bike tires, which both strengthens the rubber and also provides a super thin protective film. Because graphene is so light and strong, less rubber is used in manufacturing the tire, which produces a very light, durable and fast rolling tire. I've been using Victoria Corsa Speed G Plus 2.0 tubeless ready tires for three years now and can vouch for their performance. One of the lightest road tires you can buy, but highly durable for a pure race tire. It has independently been tested by the folks at Bicycle Rolling Resistance as having the least amount of rolling resistance of all tires tested. A mere 7.5 watts at 100 PSI. The last type of paint protection I'll mention is not a polish, but a film. Essentially, they're PVC or vinyl peel and stick sheets. These are commonly used on chain stays on both road and mountain bikes and used elsewhere on mountain bikes. These are actually the best form of protection as it creates a real thick physical barrier between elements and your frame. So it's often beneficial to combine these with the polishes to get the utmost protection. And that's what I do with my fat bike and my mountain bike in particular. So I'm just back from a fat bike ride on my Rocky Mountain Suzy Q right here. And it's actually not that dirty. It was lots of snow out there and no dirt. But I drove to the trails, so I picked up a lot of salt along the way, and that's why the bike is ready for a good wash. So let's get started. I'm washing the bike.
Pero So that's basically it on how to clean your bike. So in summary, let me give you my top five tips, tricks, and techniques for getting the most out of your bike wash. Number one, use a garden hose with low pressure water. Cold water is okay, but if you can get hot water, much better. And never, ever, ever use a pressure washer on a bike. Any bike, a good bike, a cheap bike, don't do it. It's not necessary and it's gonna damage the bike. Number two, wear insulated rubber gloves. They'll keep you warm, dry, and if you happen to catch your hand on a chain ring, cassette, rotor, or any other sharp object, it provides a bit of protection as well. Invest in some good cleaning brushes of different sizes and use the appropriate size for the different components of your bike. It'll allow you to clean the bike quicker, more effectively, and quite frankly, you're going to be less frustrated using the proper tool for the job. Number four, protect your brake pads and rotors from overspray contamination, particularly from lubes and polishes, which are particularly bad. And even some soaps can contaminate the pads and make them squeal and perform poorly. Number five, finish off the job well by providing some type of protective polish. I've talked a lot about what's available in the market today, I've talked about what I use. Use what you like, but it doesn't take much time and it'll make your bike look better and it'll actually extend the time required between washings. That's all I got today, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. It allows me to produce additional content for all of you. Until next time, happy rolling, everyone.